He was in eighth grade when I went, talked to the principal, what happened. She was going through depression. I took her to the hospital because on that day, uh, she took some pills, overdose. So, so that's how everything started. Went to the doctor, she was fine, but they didn't release my daughter with me. They called CPS. Since that moment, I had uh, CPS at my house. That's when I went to the high school and talked about, you know, her depression, and I was hoping to get help. Instead of that, what they did is send her to LGBTQ group. I didn't know anything about it. So my daughter started, you know, to change. She looked pretty mad, upset, depressed, and then she started to talk about she felt like she was in the wrong body. I'm here, you see a girl, but inside I'm a boy. And I go like, since when? I didn't know that she was going to these groups at school. Nobody so, at the school told you? No. They secretly sent her to these groups. She was not able to sleep. After, you know, going through all this, their depression is worse than what it was before. Why? Because now they are dealing with pain, with medication, going back and forward to the doctor. Surgery is not, it's not just one. They don't tell them that. I thought she was going to go into therapy first. If you want to help my daughter, help her inside out. What's in here? Why she's this depression? After the testosterone shot, she tried to suicide twice. And then September 4, she decided to knelt in front of a train. And I cried and I said, can I see one of her hands, finger, something? He said, there's nothing that you can really see. Well, I think from heaven, she can see how hard you fought for her. Can I give you a hug? Thank you for being such a good mom.